big Irish potato head. Cube, what's up, man? I'm good, thanks, mate. Okay, we're going to be checking out ETF 12 Premiership Week 1. This is a close battle, hopefully, between Yoyo Tech and Exotic. Two teams are equally shit, I would say. <laughs> kind of at the mid to lower end of the Premiership. Just can't compete with the likes of Epsilon, Crack Clan, and Infused. But I'm just uh, trolling a little bit here. These guys are obviously sick gamers. Uh, I'm expecting to see a very lively game. And... I think you take my edge it. What do you think, Cube? Yeah, I hate to agree with you, but I, I think so as well. I think they've just got a bit more experience playing as a team together. Obviously, three of them have played, I don't know, since Division 3 or something together. And we're going live here, they're ready up. Yeah, this is going to be exciting. I am watching the demo man. Which one will I find first? I've got Kiris in my sights. Will he be fastest to middle? He's hitting a nice stair jump there. He's got good speed. Ooh, yeah, he is first by some distance here. Second, Spurry eats that first sticky, and this is a strong position for you. Take if Kiris is relaying that information, they're gonna be bombing in here. Two soldiers jump up though. Four exotic, and the combo playing quite safe here and choke while the scouts are just working the flanks there for you. Take Joso super low on the slope, and both soldiers they're not gonna challenge here actually. You take back out, the sucker goes down as well, didn't even see that, what happened there Cube? Yeah, I didn't see the sucker go down either, I just saw uh, both soldiers from opposite teams jumped at the beginning and hit each other mid-air. And uh, it was, I think the sucker must have gone down quite early on because the yeah, tech were quite early to get out. I saw two soldiers and a medic on choke, like they, it looks like they were going to just back off, you know, play that sort of safe position, get healed up and go in again, but when I was looking to see if they pushed again, Oh, they were going to come in and help their scouts. I didn't realize the sucker was down. So, uh, whoa, classic cast of mistake oh. there. They have it in here on last though, man. They've got a heavy up top. That is Troso Pyro as well. Getting all the lame classes out. Tavik is Pyro switches back the scout. There's a scout on the point though, but nice stickies there from Kedis. He knows the score. Stickies on the point. Yeah, Kedis gonna catch it. Kedis had a nice trap on the uh, toxic barrels in main. As they were pushing in, he didn't get the medic, the medic just ubered, but the medic wasn't ubering the demo, so Spari went down. Oh, sorry, yeah, Spari went down early on. Yeah, as soon as you lose a demo man on a push like that, it's just, it's over quite early on. Yeah, absolutely, but he didn't get out in time. And they have switched up defensive stunts. Exotic Gubbins is playing sniper right here. He's trying to get some shots off, but Kyrus is laying in those stickies right in his face. They've got 90%, 93%, 4 It was just so close here. Will you take try and walk in? They do try and get in for free. Boomy gets shut down. Headshot from Gubbins there. That's not the really nice way to welcome Boomy back to the ETF 2L, but he goes down and some Gubbins goes down as well. Actually, Uber forced here. And a much later pop from you take by the sucker. Look at the position of Sparry right now. Totally stranded from his teammates, but he's just been a distraction here. Car bombs in. The sucker goes down to V goes down. In comes Nitro. And Sparkle from Choke gets that scout as well. Really scrappy game right here, Coop. Yeah, the um, Yoyo Tech was stuck with an Uber with just an Uber demo man, Kadus at Choke, because Boomer got taken down early on. So there was a multi Uber with a lot more players against a single Uber, and turned out that it was just a messy, everyone died at the end of it. Yeah, it seems like everybody was trying to kill that demo man. You'd like four Yoyo Tech players all trying to kill one player. Nobody wants to house. In came those. Bombing soldiers and scouts, and that was all she wrote for this point. Yeah, but they haven't really. They didn't really gain much ground there. I mean, they could have choke if they walked in. Yeah, you take a holding around trash, but yeah, surprised they, they haven't, haven't taken advantage of that. All they, man. They've this got a full Uber as well against Yeah, you take fifty percent. So are they scared? Oh, they're pushing through from the reset side here. That's a. Feel attempt from Tavik there to pop off a headshot from the balcony, shooting straight down there, but Spari is forcing them back. And there's a sword here, natural 7 HP in the lobby. He's been spotted. And oh, they're doing just such aggressive play here. You take didn't even try and block that one. And they're sitting in Uber Vantage, but they don't have any um they've got Tavik playing sniper instead of scout if they wanted to push. As I would expect they would with an Uber advantage, they would switch up to scouts, but they've got heavy sniper right now. Yeah, both scouts are going to change up. They're really not in sync with their team right here or on the I same I think they wavelength. are going to push out now to fix change back to scout. They, uh, Androso has changed back to scout as well. They've left a soldier on last there. 
they've already lost five of those seconds, man. Like that should be an instant realization. We've got an Uber advantage here. Why am I playing sniper? Why am I playing heavy? Yeah. And no, Exotic are gonna have Uber in time here. Not in time to block, but they don't have to back off. They can hold the choke here. They got players, and they got charge. Scouts are trying to make something happen on the flanks, but there is a soldier to help you. You take scouts there. It's Boomy. And uh, Drosu has gone down for you, take, and that's a player advantage that they need. They're going to Uber in here. Clar jumps in well ahead of his team. Totally forces you, you take out here. They are running scared. Two players down, rightly so, Cube. Yeah, Sparkle wasn't even forced to Uber, which is. You've got to make a move if she's coming around a choke point like that. If they push quickly, um, Sucker's not going to have the Uber in time. They get a free Uber on last. Yeah, here they come on me, and it's all three heavies. This is going to be a short-lived Uber if he flashes everybody, and he does. Both soldiers jump up there, Pyro doing work. They just needed to sack the player onto the point there. They haven't capitalized on this Uber. Super low health for you, Tech, right now. If Exotic did choose to push up top, they would at least force and They have Uber, actually. Sucker has popped here. Save his players, because they all were solo. And you, Tech, should not push out here, Cube. They can get a few kills, but they should not commit to this. Maybe they can now, actually. Two players go down, Spy's gone down. Yeah, I think Sparry went went down again, he was just being a bit over aggressive. And oh his med soldier on the med. Yeah, just not enough kills coming in for your U tech right there, I felt. But they did manage to make it work. Sucker Suc got, got put down to twenty HP, but luckily the shots weren't hit by the scout and he's managed to pick up a health back. Yeah, Gubbins didn't work a sniper again here, he's taken down Droso. That's gonna slow down any yo-yo take aggression. Obviously Exotic's still sitting with the Uber advantage here. And now that Samzy's up, I expect them to move towards that choke. Let's yeah, see. I think your prediction was right about the sloppy game, it's just a lot of mistakes at the moment. Yeah, definitely a lot of places I would have tried to capitalize if I were playing in this situation, but I'm not. <laughs> and Natural just jumped right round into a sticky trap. All the way up on the launch pad. It's all the way landed on the sticky trap. Yeah, that was pretty brutal and they're gonna have to uh, hold off any thoughts of pushing right here. Be foolish to push with the player disadvantage. Now that the Ubers are equal, there is some action going on again in the house. Scouts exchanging shots, soldiers peeking in there. The house Gubbins, is always a death trap. Gubbins is causing real problems. Like, every person that tries to peek round choke is just getting headshot. And it's really slowing down Yaya Tech and to the point now where they both have Uber. Yeah, surprised they don't just push house, that's really sort of the standard thing you would do against the sniper. You don't want to give him that long line of sight down choke, so you try and go house and make something happen. You can always come straight out the door or jump out the window. Uber's been popped here though, and it's an early Uber from Exotic as the aggressors. Nice defensive Uber from the sucker there. I hope his teammates will capitalize. They're actually not going to overextend here, they're just going to play it totally safe and wait for Exotic to make a mistake, but they're not really uh, taking advantage of these small edges they're getting, such as that little Uber differential right there. And there's so many players for Exotic in the house right now, they could get wiped out pretty easily if you take one to the focus in there. But both teams just seem quite scared of each other right now, Cube. Yeah, I think it's, again, it's just uh, both teams want to win this game. They're trying to cut out the mistakes, and I mean, that was an Uber exchange without losing a single player on either team. It just seems like neither team has a real... Uh, Oh, Gubbins goes down. It seems like there's no real coordination or it's just a little hesitation on both sides. And I hope they'll push now. No sniper and a, that's a player advantage as well. They surely have to push this. I don't know what they're waiting for. Just put a little bit of pressure on guys. Quite low health for me to take in general though. They have Uber out here. They're gonna get that force onto Sparkle, but they need to back out right now and then go in again. The, the sucker has got out safely. He's meeting the soldiers and choke now. They need to focus fire here. Soldier bombs in. But they're all looking oh. at the demo man. There was a sticky trap by Cadis there somewhere it took down Sparkle as soon as the Uber was off. I guess it was on stairs or something. So you should see this go to Yayo yeah, Tech, just two players up now left for Exotic. Yeah, that was really nice from Cadis thinking a few moves ahead. Obviously his team were gonna have to fall back in that even Uber situation since they were gonna pop first as the aggressors, so we had those stickies up. Gets that medic pick and maybe we're gonna see some uh, momentum right here from you Tech. Can they steamroll through the last cube? You'd expect so, wouldn't you, with a 60% Uber advantage. But the way this game's been going, you never know. You don't seem really too excited about that pro prospect, they man. They no. really should be pushing round choke now. I mean, Exotic can't even on Stone Bridge. They're right the way back in trash. They've got a full Uber advantage. Should be capping this. Yeah, interesting. Gubbins not open to snipe anymore in this defensive position. And 
You see the U take heavies moving up. Getting some pressure onto that balcony. That's going to allow those scouts to cap pretty easily. That's exactly what you want to do. If you're having trouble with your spire pushes, watch that push there. Obviously oh, the Uber nice advantage stickies. helps. Nice stickies by Spari though, he's just trapped the medic out um, in trash and that's bought his team in the Uber I think. Yeah, yeah Spark has got 97% now so that 60% advantage has gone to nothing. It'll be interesting to see how you take handle this and expect them to go in and force and get out, hopefully. They don't plan to lose too many players here, so do does jump up and that's Boomy getting the force. but this. The Sucker doesn't opt to save him, doesn't flash him on the way out and he is super low in the lobby there, he does survive on 49 HP. But the scouts are making something happen on the right here, David gets one, goes down. Linus goes down in exchange for Spy, that's a good trade right there. And it's 4-3 to three here in favour of you, Tech, they've got the high ground as well. Forces Nacho to jump up there, tries to go for the Sucker but he doesn't get him. The players are forced onto the point and in come Cadis' stickies, that's beautiful right there Coop. Finally, finally seen the round. So 10 minutes in for the first round. Yeah, if we were giving away some Steam Mobile codes and you'd bet 10 minutes, you would have won, but uh, alas, we're not. This is a, a pretty rushed cast right here. And uh, looks like Kyrus is going to be faster again. His sticky is sweet. Spari sitting at 91 HP right here. His team are going to be putting in the aggression. Linus jumps in. Kyrus takes down Spari as well. He kills himself, actually. Oh, wow, but Linus. Quality play there, he jumped in, helped finish off the demo, took the medic down and took the soldier down as well. Pretty good play, I've never really rated Linus that much, I've always thought he was more of sort of one of the managers of Yo-Yo Tech, kicking everybody else and replacing them with better players. Yeah, but sure, he can definitely like, do work on the roaming role. When you're partnered with Hat, like he's just going to be the superstar, that guy is a sick gamer, but maybe Linus is going to get a bit more time to shine here, you know, a bit of spotlight now that Hat is out of the picture and Boomy is just sort of finding his feet in the team. Double NG on last from Exotic. I think it's just to set up one sentry and then one of them will get back and change, but obviously yeah. feeling the pressure of two quick rounds. Well, one quick round. Spotty had some, down. some stickies on main there at the near the yellow barrels, but they were spotted and he has actually dead at them as well. Both soldiers focus fire in this. That's a big uber there from the sucker. Flashed a couple of people and it's faded already. Boomy jumps in, trying to make something happen, but no chance that Sparkle was going to go down safely and spawn out there. Pyro coming up from behind, Govan's going huge here. Oh, <laughs> gets the medic kill and just terrifies the UU Tech players there. That's one of the primal fears right there, the fear of fire, man. No one wants to get burned alive. Yeah, bringing out all the gay classes there just to hold the push and it works, that's the problem with it. Yeah, whatever, one scout whatever gets fire. the win, man. Gets taken oh. down pretty easy. Yeah, it doesn't get the win, but it shows how often it works. Linus actually manages to force the Uber, which is uh, good for yeah, your tech, but there's only two of them left up, so they should actually cap mid as well for free, I think. Yeah, that was weird as well. Like, again, the sucker was terribly positioned right there. They could have easily killed them if they just jumped, but they all sort of paused. I don't know if they were reloading or wanted more health, but if they just came in it there, the sucker was dead for sure. But um, to big day and inspire their was poor as well, like he was so out of sync with his team, going up the spire, trying to be a ninja, there was three people on it. Yeah, I mean, was, this it, um, was it in the uh, pirate radio last night, they were talking about how both the uh, tech scouts are always trying to get behind and do the fancy things that make the frag movies, but not always yeah. the best thing to do for your team. Uber popped here for you, take an early one out of the house, and they have done good damage here, Clara goes down and they forced them out. But they're going to push ahead here because Sparkle has Uber right now. And it looks I like we've had a we've pause. Got a pause. Yeah. It's not a premiership game without a pause. Oh, have we resumed again? And an unpause. Maybe that was some sort of lag. Maybe we're getting DDoSed right now, but so many kills coming in for Exotic U Take. Seem to have lost count of that Uber right there. They went in, they got one kill on Clara, but they didn't get the force or even any damage on the medic. And straight back in came Exotic, blocked the point, and picked up a multitude of frags right there. Cube. Will they get the spire? Are you feeling it, man? I think there is now a pause, or is that just me? You're right, you're right. Yeah. Well, Yeo Tech were a bit slow to push in on the Uber, like they pushed into midpoint. Um, but Exotic were already at about 95% when the point was half capped, so sensible decision by them to come in and block with the Uber. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but just... actually, uh, Sparkle went down in that, I didn't see, but he's down on my screen. 
So yeah, your tech should have a pretty good advantage. It's just about <laughs> oh, if yeah. they can hold on to this spire. I think it may not be a pause. I've got some PM here from Droso. He's saying we got DDoSed. So uh, let me just see what's up. Oh, not the return of the DDoS. I thought we'd seen the end of that. See, uh, it could be just... Uh, there was always rumoured to be someone in the French community, you know? And maybe they just hate Droso. But, uh, <laughs> maybe it's one of the AOTech Tech players that got kicked when they went prem. Oh yeah, it's hat hat uh Cyber, sorry, Cyber Cyber <laughs> or yeah. This is quite disappointing. It's been a long time since I've seen a DDoS. Yeah, I know. I well, thought we I, I keep seeing Source TV reconnecting on the stream. I mean on the uh, Source TV, so I presume that is something to do with one of the servers being taken down. Yeah, I'm going to talk to Kiedis here. Joseph says he's going to restart. So let's see what's happening. What were we about 15 minutes in, about halfway through the map? And it was 1 0 to Yaya Tech. 10% Uber advantage at least for the sucker there. Take a mental <laughs> screenshot in your mind so we can reconstruct this one. Uh, Kiedis is offering that we can cast from the server and no STV. I don't know if that's going to change anything about being DDoS, to be honest, but... Um, if they've got enough slots for the three of us, then... There's enough of a delay on the stream, I think, for neither of these teams to think about opening up a tab of Firefox, watching the stream and seeing what the enemies are doing. So I, reckon yeah, that's I don't shout. understand like um, what having no STV would change. I've got a comedian talking to us on uh, IRC now. Yeah. Uh, he says that they need a SVP or zero, otherwise the vanilla TV HUD won't work. Or SVP or one, just not SVP or two, I think. So is it the STV that's gone down, or the the server in general? As in, are they still playing, or have they stopped? I don't know. Uh, Serious cat is saying it's the server. Okay, Gubbins is sending me some info as well right here. Got the relay. I'm gonna just pass this ahead. Keep filling there, man. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Superb co-caster. Well, I guess I'll plug the um, Vanilla TV YouTube channel where you can usually watch all of the games that we cast. The videos are uploaded there. And also other videos such as um, Vanilla TV Insights. I'm hoping to do some more of them. Just need to find some players that are willing to give their team comms and point of views away. Because all these prems, prem players, they want the mouse mats. And don't like teams stealing their tactics. So that's uh, youtube.com forward slash vanilla TV org. We just hit 2,000 subscribers, which is a big milestone for us, Admiral. Yeah, I think that's great, man. Like, I really love the insight. I've always felt that um, part of the reason there is this sort of skill gap in TF2 between the top teams is just that, uh, not that people are bad players, there are some sick death matches out there for sure, but it's just people's decision making and being able to hear the comms of these top teams is such a, a great asset, I think, man, and I really... Uh, love the work that you do. So a uh, high five across the internet there. <laughs> but obviously there's only been a few people actually doing it, like you say, like Yeah, I think the sucker and the hat. Yeah, you say we're great providers of that. They just they recorded their comms from pretty much every game and then just gave certain games to me. But um yeah I'll try and get in contact with some more teams. I think maybe some more Div One teams. They seem to be a bit more willing. Yeah, so it's a real tell... shame, though. It's just um, it's just teams thinking that it's the end, it's the reason that other teams win, basically. Oh yeah, this it's idea that the... though they've seen how we play, they're gonna. You can see most strategies. of it from an STV anyway. Like, if a team is really that keen to watch their strats and stuff, you could see it from an STV. The only difference is somebody's calling it in mumble. Yeah, absolutely, and I think. That's a small price to pay for the, the greater good of a longer life for TF2, especially at the the top end. I know I'm an elitist twat, whatever. 
But um, tell me what exactly, if someone was thinking they'd like to get into this or contribute, what do they actually need to provide for you? Um, well, all it requires for me and Shrike to make them is a mumble recording. It doesn't even have to be trimmed exactly, we can do that as well, and a point of view demo. It's, it's more ideal if the mumble's recorded in multi-channel, because that means we can add Shrike's fancy mumble overlay type thing on top of the video so people can see who's speaking. But yeah, it's really not that much effort for the, the player, it's just recording a demo, which everyone does anyway, and then recording the mumble, which just takes something ready to remember. And then once we've got that, we can set up an insight. It's really easy. Just so leave more players a, doing it, yeah. A Premiership player out there, or a Division 1 player, of course. This is a heartfelt appeal from the And you want to help, yeah. Help the scene. Help this man out. And Comedian is offering that we could go for a little bit of music when we just sort things out. So Might uh, be a good idea, yeah. I think I'll just give him the, all, the thumbs up on that front until we sort things out here. So Comedian, if you're listening, take it away.
Yeah, everybody's offline on Steam, but comedian soon. And I think we are back live here. They have set up a whole new STV relay. I don't know the technical details, man. It's crazy mumbo jumbo, but right now you can join STV on the vanilla relay and see the conclusion of this map, hopefully. And you are on the STV right now, Cube. I'm yep, here too. Yep. I think they're just, they've got all the players on, they're just waiting to hear that we're ready. And I guess they're going to start with a time limit of 15 and knowledge that yeah, you take a warm round up. Yeah, Comedian is back on the stream shoes as well, shout out to that guy. He is a handsome, oh I was almost going to swear there, he's a handsome guy is what I'll say. <laughs> but um, if you're watching this right now, this isn't the live game, this is just the warm up. I think. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah, I think it is. Just really with my hand to make sure. So, uh, yeah, we see the chat here. They're saying that Vanilla have the STV. We certainly do. You can see it, folks. And one team has really up, so we could be going live here. I don't think I need to do any other intro cube. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, no. Just carry on. But we have gone live here. And what was the score? Nil, nil? One, nil. <laughs> one, nil to yeah, yeah, it. Okay, buddy. I think the, um, Comedian has the overlay on the VODs anyway, so oh, should be all set. What a legend. Uh, check this out, Cadis has opted to go from the balcony this time, mustn't have fancied his speed on that route. And Sparry's stickies are really doing nothing here. Oh, Nigel comes in and gets two, the sucker, and Boomy. Just to add insult to injury, they're taking down the entire combo, but meanwhile the scouts at Eurotech are all over the, front, the flanks here. Getting four kills, I think. And they got a nice height advantage here. There's Cadis linking up with them too. They've got one man stranded here. It is Sparry. And a desperate attempt. Nice pipe there onto Droso. Takes down the scout just to beat. And he took down Cadis as well with a sticky yeah. Sparry guy, man. Where has he come from? He's been around for a while, like, but. Another strange mid. I think there's going to be a second battle for mid here. The scouts are respawning, so. Yeah, he should be able to have it because the medic spawned a little bit earlier. Yeah, man. Big Cadis. Jason Allen there, saluting his fellow demo man with a well played. He is manner. And you take sitting on 40% here. They're not going to peek on choke. They're playing it super safe, buffing up all the players. Allowing Exotic to come close. Why are Exotic building so fast? Do they have crits? No, it is standard Uber. Still a slight advantage here for the sucker. And he's going to like this position of Exotic. If they push and they hit their jumps right. They could pick off Sparkle pretty easily if they're going to push on the button here, but they're not moving the choke yet. They got 95. Start going forward, do take. I don't really know they have that much of an advantage. They really should have pushed right away. Only now they're starting to clear the stickies, and Sparkle's yeah. going to have Uber in time. I think they just had no clue what the percentages were at right there. Playing it safe. I've got infused Greg asking me, have they just started? No, man. They had started about 20 minutes ago, but there was a delay there because of a DDoS, and right now. His former teammate Boomy goes down and that instigates a push from Exotic right here. Uber popped first for them. And Linus is way back on the blue choke right here. Super low. He needs to get back in the game here to help his teammates out. It's only Cadis and the sucker doing work here. Cadis gets juggled up and scattered down. And the scouts of you take were nowhere to be seen, but now they come in on the flanks when it's all too late. Trosa goes down. That is a soft pick right there. Tavik also down previously. Uh, three man left alive for you take and five up for exotic they're surely going to cap this spire cube yeah uh, again you um, take a much later uber but they were just ubering the demo man so when the ubers came off exotic had four or five people ready to kill this one demo man who was trying to kill everybody else and check out Tavik on the bulk here this is what the fans want to see Tavik sniping he is a superb talent behind that scope he's got some cover there as well he did get land a headshot on a soldier but didn't manage to actually get a frag and boomy Hiding there, does force the Uber, nice work from Boomy, sacks himself to get that Uber and they just need to concentrate on the point right here, oh nice skip jump there, really sick from Clark, bombs up, almost gets the medic, sucker backs up into spawn and Exotic's push has just been nullified right there, the three up to a f five men, six men right now alive for you to take, hopefully they're going to go forward and Josu should be switching up, or sorry Tavik should be switching up to Scout. Yeah, they're pushing out on the uh, half up spine now. Kedis jumping forward, trying to get this Uber. He gets one nice sticky on the med, but it's not going to be enough. You take up to leave that heavy on last. That reminds me of uh, FB Team Thermal Tech play. Oh. 
Dublin's being a real problem on Sniper. Cadus jumps forward to kill him but goes down himself. Uh, Gum's three definitely on three. Uh, choosing the better opportunities to snipe, like you say, 3 on 3, but the soccer goes down. Sam is he in the back, takes out Linus as well. Scouts are just so in the cube. Yeah, it's just Vic up. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's sniping from bunk again. Let's see if he can get a headshot. I think he's been predicted, though. He's going to try a drop down snipe. Yeah, I think, like, uh, sniping on the balcony is just such an obvious move that teams are very equipped to deal with that, whether they want to push from the left or just put instant pressure onto him. Whereas Gubbins sniping on the middle has just proven far more fruitful. Like, he's getting a lot of kills, doing a lot of damage compared to what we've seen from Tavik so far. So, Gubbins definitely winning that sniper battle. Even though they're not sniping each other, I don't think they've both been sniper against each other yet. Just yeah, choosing different times to go and play sniper him. Oh, Linus gets shut down on that left side with the uber push coming in low from Exotic. They have a pyro and a heavy right here. And the turtle up super hard. Exotic are making nice use of this high ground. Clark does go down to Cadis's pipe, but Natural forces the sticky debt. And players do swarm on here, this is so close right here. He gets oh. the Uber so clutch from the Great sucker play. right there. He says that guy is terrible. But it's not over yet, there's so many players here for the red team. Oh, Scout goes down though, and it's only Sparry trying to make the difference here. He just can't stack up against so many Yuyu type players right there, Akun. I think he tried to jump out from behind the point, but he missed his sticky. So ended up having to try and deathmatch. We've got Goodwin's going sniper again. I don't know if he'll be able to do anything on Spire, but... He can just sit on that back train again, I guess. He has shown himself here, which is probably a little foolish, I would say. But you take should surely have been expecting that. Anyway, he sniped every time that they've lost that Spire. And it's going to be interesting to see how they deal with this right now. They do have a tiny Uber advantage. But um, I expect them to be going in, forcing and getting out. Maybe see a nice sticky trap from Cadius, like we saw earlier on that retreat. But uh, right now, both teams just in a standoff here, grinding it out. Gummins is looking for an angle. Where is he? Yeah, he's looking through house, I think. Yeah, fully expecting that house push. And the Uber has nullified any headshots for now. But the Uber's fade it. Let's see what happens. Kate is in a terrible position there. Nobody jumped behind from you, Tech, so they just allowed Exotic all to focus on those retreating players. And that was really their downfall, I feel, in that middle. And wow, the sucker goes down. Sparry is doing amazing work here as Demo Man. I thought Kadis would have him far outclassed. But Sparry is at least equal to him from what I've seen so far. They they're already around pushing around on to last no, here. It's just the Demo Man that last. Kadis juggles the soldier down, but can't hit two at once. And one more. Nitro jumps up. Greg is asking me, am I eating my words from last night? Kiris is going down pretty much all the time, Sparry killing everything. It seems that Greg was right when he says that Kiris is always overextending. And he was faster that time, went to balcony, loved the sticky in, it didn't do any damage, and that's allowed Sparry to get a much better position here. And he's starting to lay those stickies onto the slope. He's taking a lot of damage from Kiris, he's turned his blind eye to him right there. That was Cyclops demo man, and the sucker is super low on the slope here, but it's Yo Yo Tech here picking up all the frags here. Although it seemed like Exotic had a great chance really to take that middle, but they just uh, didn't get the right picks. Loud Kalis back in after he was totally locked out there. Yeah, I missed that. My TF2 just crashed, so I'm reconnecting. But oh, great man. description. I analysed all 12 pay players from your. <laughs> I paint a vivid picture with words. That's why uh, Vanilla TV pay me the high salary that they do, man. <laughs> I'm getting royalties now as well. Every play on YouTube, man, I get a dollar. I wish. But right so now, Gavin's, Gavin's is sniping here. And uh, I'm trying to find him. Sam's, he's switching up to Pyro as well. He does get shot off, but he switched straight back to Scout. That boy, Gubbins. And Sam's, is doing amazing work here. Nobody's going for the point. Again, I feel that is something... A missed opportunity. Like, once the combo bag's into spawn, all you need to do is get players onto the point. And they have done that now, but like, I think they could have capped already, but I'm not going to complain, man. That is nice from you, Tech, right there. Finally starting to get some quick rounds in now. Hopefully the teams have properly warmed up and stopping their sloppy mistakes. Yeah, the so scoreboard two, one, reads, two. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tech now. 1-1, one, one, but it is in fact 2-1 because of that restart. Both demo men going balcony this time. I think Sparry was a little bit shocked how he got rickrolled the last time. 
And the Sorders are coming in, it's a valley push from Exotic. Sparkle comes up the run, but both the Sorders jump away. He's got some cover here, but Linus and uh, Tavik bomb in. Tavik's gone into the house here, so that's a real distraction right now. He's juking it out with Samzi, who beats him. Tavik down. And it's the Sucker and Kadis running for their lives right here. Great aggression from Exotic right there, where the flank was almost on there. Samzi just a little bit too slow. He's going to get on the Spire right now. And I figure we take could block this. Kadis is making moves as such, because they've got the spawns coming in. And they will have that uber charge. Exactly what they want to do right here. Regripping on that balcony. All the soldiers here. But look at that. Been forced so early on. Yeah, really nice from Nacho there. Just jumped up, danced on that little metal fence. Did damage. Four players stand in the comp there. I feel that like one soldier should have been spread apart. But Uber is forced here for Exotic. We've got so many... Oh, a double scout back cap going on there. This is going to bring them all back. Wow, just as I was about to say, it was looking at all exotic. The scouts uh, pull one out of the bag, and this is going to buy them plenty of time here to recap that spire. Or sorry, not recap that spire, but uh, get their uber back up and get the spawns in. And uh, they didn't player. even manage to block it. It was just one soldier up there. And yeah. The whole team dealt with the back cap whilst he just capped. I'm pretty sure they were probably happy just to uh, get back to last and get players respawned. So they were. Probably uh, not too bothered about that Spire getting capped. They've shored up their defences here. They got a heavy on last. And uh, that is true. So they've also got Tavik. Just playing Scout here. No sniping. Thanks, Doc. Must be difficult when everybody's expecting you to go sniper all the time and kill everything. But he is uh, not he's living up the fans' right expectations right now. It is Pyro. Nice. Oh, wow. He's got them right in the door here. Totally uh, denied them on that uber push, but they really need to not overextend here. The important thing to remember is that they haven't got any kills. They should not push out here. They should wait for some picks. And wow, down goes Boomy. Out on his own. Totally overextended there away from the rest of his team, but Gubbins is down as well. He spawned much sooner though, thanks to that uh, attacking team spawn differential. He's just going to buff up here, I think, and maybe push in. Oh. Two players down right now for you, Take. This is exactly what Exotic want. The Stickies have won on the point. Skites looking to make a move there. Samzi goes for it, but it gets beat in this key to the Sticky Trap. He's raining them down from on top there. And it's all Boomy right here. Can he do it? Oh! He gets sent airborne there just long enough for Clar to cap. But I fancy that he might have been able to take him down had he not capped. Would have been a close one, but Clar gets the cap and he will be the hero of this point and this round, man. 2-2 two -two with four and a half minutes left to go. Definitely a good game to watch. Oh man, this is a great game. Uh, Kiris goes balcony while Spari goes the standard rollout from that main door. Again, they've sacrificed position on the point, but in come so the valley push. Both soldiers jumping up. Kiris goes down, both soldiers go down, the sucker goes down. Exotic instinctively, as soon as that valley push was called, bombed in there. And they have raped. But it's all up to the UTEC scouts right now, and they are trying to do something. Boomy's still alive as well, like, but he's gone down. In exchange for another frag. Thanks, wow, kid. Tell yeah. me what you saw. Well, mids are just changing every time. We've seen them go Yo Yo Tech Exotic, Yo Yo Tech Exotic. But that mid, Exotic were just completely on the ball about Yo Yo Tech going Valley. I think they had five frags before Yo Yo Tech even got one, so. Yeah, I think um, part of that was just the fact that Kiris let them come out. Like, he didn't challenge the point, he didn't come from the doorway. He went. Um, bulk and everybody was just able to see the valley push coming and get in there and do work and he just didn't seem to do much like I think Kadis is crumbling a bit here maybe he's just overconfident but there is a sentry on last right now for you take and they've been quite slow to push in I mean Sucker's nearly got the uber now especially after the sentry's wasted most of it and there is a player making moves for that point right now natural gets focused down but uh, you take a loss to high ground right here, they're trying to reclaim it, Boomy gets up top and Gubbins makes a bit of a optimistic play for the point there but he does encourage you to take the fish out and in comes Clar from that lower side real mess from you take there, nobody taking responsibility for that point and another, it's, it's almost a bad cap right there just a sloppy one man, that was a free one basically yeah, I wonder if uh, Yotek will Go Valley again. I would imagine not so since they got raped so hard last time. Kiris is coming out from the door here but he does eat a Stiggy directly in the face from Sparry. 
Big aggression coming in from Linus right here. He's super low on the back end of that exotic train, but he gets taken down by the scouts. Really like that from exotic, to be honest. Like they recognised pretty much instantly that they hadn't done enough damage on middle, but they were in a poor position, and they got out with um, four players up. They have lost Gubbins here. That is pretty terrible play right there, just to die in that position. And uh, I feel as a scout, you should always be able to get out alive, but um, he doesn't manage he to get out alive right there. I think he was trying to get a force, trying to be sneaky around the side of Spire, but he just got seen really early. Yeah, just heroics there, and he does spawn in time, so I take it back, Gubbins, all is forgiven. Uber's forced here from both teams, and uh, they're just going to hold up top here. Gubbins goes down again, though, just as I redeem him, he sins again. And so much damage coming in from the top three to kills here. Natural and Sparry doing work. Both demo men gone down. Kedis goes down, Sparry goes down, and they do get so much time in the point, and it's only Sparkle who stands in the way, but ooh, I think Exotic just took their eye off the ball for a second there. And those five players from you take him storming in, man. Big damage. So what's this now? 3 3? One minute left? I'll take your word for it. I think I both. Do you think both teams will go for it, or just. Try and test it out and go for the golden cap. It can absolutely cap in a minute. Um, yeah, you just have to go all out. Sparry got caught off guard right there. He was looking at door and Kedis lobbed one in from the bug. Sparry was half out. To, got called as well to beat him in meat shot. He's down, son. And if they do wipe here, this could be a UU Tech cap. They could win it right here. They're getting a lot of frags right now. And the Sparkle is running away on his own. He's not going to have Uber in time to defend this push. And UU Tech should be pushing straight down onto me in here. The sucker is hanging back to buff his scouts, but he should be healing his heavies and getting in position to push last right now. The spawn wave has come in, that's two up right now. Still five seconds before the remaining three members of Exotic spawn. And this should surely be a UU Tech round. Are they going to wait for the teammates? They need to push now if they want to get that pick onto Sparkle. Boomy bombs up, Sparkle goes into the spawn, but nobody makes a play for the point right here. The pyro comes in, the heavy comes in, and they're going to get shut down here. Sparkle's got Uber right now, and they should be able to defend this. Big player advantage for Exotic right here. Wow. Yeah, Golden Cap. They, I think they messed it up really. Yeah, you attack. They're still keen on getting that Medic pick, but Sparkle is just playing in a defensive position every time on that last. And when the Soldier jumps up, um, especially when forces them into spawn, they well. should at least try and sacrifice a player onto the point. But I guess part of the problem was that their scouts weren't there. Yeah. So there wasn't well, had three or four pushing. They had to push straight away, so they couldn't wait for the scouts. Yeah. I would have capped it. That's all I'm saying, man. You know, I'm a, I'm a nerd baller. I would have capped that shit. But uh, we're gonna go to You'd a golden cap here. And capped it easily. Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> the rules for the golden cap are that it will be played on under a cap limit of 1 and a time limit of 10 minutes and if no one has capped after 10 minutes the team which hold middle wins a bit of a controversial rule and we actually saw we cast a game last week myself and the the pledge casted that first game in division 2b the money division and we saw a protest from MIPC who refused to push last in a golden love, cap situation I love how they get a bit of prize money division 2b when they start calling the shots about ETF 12 rule changes. <laughs> oh, the money's just gone to their head. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We want rule changes. But it was it was quite hilarious just how they were so insistent that they wouldn't push even when they had like a clear advantage, you know, like multiple players down for their opposition and Uber in hand. They just sat back on four and wouldn't push into the last in Snake War. So I'm not sure if the admins were watching that one or if it'll make any difference. I feel in league play, man, you know, no one's waiting on you to finish your game. The golden cap rule should maybe should not removed. exist at all, or just there'd be no time limit right there. But we're going to go live here, and this is Vanilla TV. I'm admirable with me, he's killed the golden cap of Badlands. The teams were sitting on four rounds there by the end of that, I think. Or And oh, Katie just goes balcony and catches Sparry with two stickies as he comes out there. The rulers are coming in as well, Sparry is basically out of this middle right here. The soldiers from Exotic jump in, trying to buy some time for that demo man to get healed up. But they are getting destroyed right here, but they've, everybody's looking to get the soldiers. Samsy comes in and picks off the sucker. Gubbins gets Linus, and Spari has come back in, healed up. And that's the only thing left for Boomy to do is try and be a hero. He bombs in and gets taken out by Stickies. But Cadis is still in the game, undetected right here. 
But Sparry is just too strong right now, man. Look at him storming ahead there on the scoreboard. Beasting it up. I don't know why they, um, I don't know why Kadis went in at the end there. He went in, it would have been alright if he went in at the same time as Boomy, but they went in separately. And Sparry could focus them individually with his 260 buff. Yeah, well, I think it was just a bit of a gamble to try and get the force there, and he has spawned in time. I'm sure that was uh, part of his calculation. There were so many players down for Exotic as well, and they have actually pushed into the lobby here. Check it out, it's natural. Sparry and Sparkle flanking up that stair side. They've surely been called here at no time on the Spire right now. This could be a disastrous push. No one's looking behind right now, though. And two soldiers here. Clara is super low, and natural is in trouble at race up. Exchanging shots with Joso. Joso gets help from Boomy. They're still capping this point. How are they doing this? You take. They're not going to block. They've been holding that uh, balcony side, defending from the bulk on the window. Up goes Boomy though. He's called it. And Kiris versus Spari right now on trash. Oh, Sky comes in to help. Oh my God! It's so close. Ah, Sparkle goes down, and they have capped the Spire at the same time. I'm looking for the back cap opportunities. Flashing through here. No, I don't get the thing up behind. Only natural alive and he's in the house. No soldier back camps happening today, my friend. There was a horrible moment in the middle of that where uh, the sucker was on 90% on balcony and he wanted to drop down to save Cadus on the floor at Trash. You could just see him wanting to drop so badly to save his player but not wanting to lose his Uber. Yeah, yeah, sometimes Brings tears to my eyes. You just have to uh, let people die if you want to play smart. I know that's the reason I often feel just trying to back my players up even when I know they're overextended. Oh, oh they've chased you around. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? Sorry for the swear there, bite, but what the fuck is going on here? They changed wow. the STV early on a golden cap. Please die in a fire, you take an exotic. Can they forget that? That's awful. I'm gonna find out here what Oh man, I have to go to IRC because they're all offline thanks to the DDoS. Thank you, DDoSer. There. Admiral, you've been excused by uh, Byte for your swearing. Oh my but let God. me try and find out. Cummins is offline on IRC as well. Can anyone get in touch with him? Yeah, Twix has it said, Yo, you take one, the Golden Cup. But. Oh, <laughs> so exciting. What a claim, You never man. know if you can trust Twix anyway. So I guess we're going to be going to Snakewater right here. Uh, STV is taking a second to load for me, but yep, Snake Water confirmed. These are the week one maps, and yes, Spite has excused me. That's beautiful. What are you fancy for Snake Water? What are your views on this map? Oh, we have to do an out, an out, a goddamn outro here for comedian. Oh, how unprofessional of me! I have been admirable, and with me, the boy Wonder Cube, hero of the Highlander community. This has been the week one fixture ETF2L premiership between Exotic and Yo Tech. Map one Badlands. Check out Stakewater Part Two. It's coming in saying that apparently Tafik did an amazing start.